Ek? Well, good morning. So, you know, it's actually a mid-quarter update that the company has given in terms of the volumes that they've managed to handle as far as Q4 is concerned. So what the company has said is that they've gone ahead and crossed 300 metric, uh, million metric tons of cargo that they handle. And the sudden surge that the company says has actually been aided by the fact that there has been strong imported coal volumes that has been flowing into India. However, it's important to note that at this point of time, the implied ask rate for the company to go ahead and meet its earlier stated guidance for FY23, which was around 350 to 360 million metric tons, is still quite steep. Uh, and it's estimate that it could be closer to the 330 to 340 million metric tons as far as what they could achieve in Q4. Okay, thanks a lot for that. Well, I'm also watching out for a lot of the auto stocks as uh, the reports come through on what to expect from the auto numbers in the month of February. And the space to look at is the commercial vehicle space. So the numbers are expected to be quite good and hence Tata Motors is on my radar. Now, uh, there's a lot of pre-buying of commercial vehicles that has taken place in the month of February. This is because prices are expected to rise about 3 to 4% from April post the implementation of the new driving emission norms. And because of this pre-buying, the industry as a whole, both Tata Motors and Ashok Leyland, along with Aisha Motors have seen a big surge in commercial vehicle sales and hence I'm going with green for all of those stocks. Nomura put out a note where they expect the industry, the MHCV industry volumes to rise by 25% year on year in February of 2023. So this entire pocket could be in focus. All right, uh, Sonia, thanks very much uh, for that. Well, uh, more stocks with news flow. Ekta's got that list. She's joining in. Ekta, good morning. Thanks for that. I'll start with Pfizer. I expect that stock to be in the green because they've completed the sale of their Thane business undertaking to Vidhi Research for 178 crores. And SpiceJet is the other one that I'll be tracking because the board meet is on uh, 27th, which is today. And it was, remember, adjourned from the 24th of Feb. They will be mulling, allotting equity shares on a preferential basis. So these two stocks will be on my radar. Okay, all right. Uh, Ekta, thanks a lot for that. Well, Sonia, coming across uh, to you yet again, you're tracking Interglobe Aviation. So there's some negative news on Interglobe Aviation. So I'm going with red over there. Now, uh, there are reports that more than 50 planes of Indigo and Go First are, have been grounded because of uh, Pratt & Whitney's engine woes. Now, this is because of persisting supply chain issues because of which they have to change their strategy now. So Interglobe Aviation is exploring various options. They're looking at slowing down their re-deliveries through some lease extensions. They're exploring the re induction of aircrafts into the fleet. They are evaluating the wet lease options as well with the within the regulatory guidelines. So because of these supply chain issues and the grounding of aircrafts, I'm going with red uh, for Interglobe Aviation today. All right. Uh, so uh, Indio in focus, although I mean, uh, passenger footfalls at airports, etc. are through yeah. the roof, right? I mean, so that's the other thing. <laughs> so you need more planes, not less. Well, uh, Vivek is standing by. He's got uh, IRB Infra and NBCC on his radar. Vivek, hi, morning. Well, that's right. So, a couple of you know infra companies are bagging projects. So, uh, IRB Infra, the company has got the letter of award as far as uh, you know project upgradation for NH27 in Gujarat is concerned. Uh, the total project cost stands at over one, uh, 2,132 crore, and with this, the order book of the company has now increased to 20,892 crore. NBCC2, you know, some positive news flow coming in there. The company has been appointed as the project management consultancy for an Ahmedabad-based project, and the project value is at around 350 crore. All right. Uh, well, thanks a lot for that. A lot of stocks in focus. Here's a quick recap. Stocks with positive news flow. Paytm, Bharti Airtel, Tube Investments, Tata Motors, Adani Ports, Pfizer, Lemon Tree Hotels, SpiceJet, IRB Infra and NBCC. Well, the only stock with negative news flow is Interglobe Aviation. But let's get a quick handle on what's happening in the world of commodities. Brent crude is back above $83 a barrel. 